Parsha Toldo tells the story of Yaakov and Esav. Someone who reads that story might ask a very simple question. How is this fair to Esav? It seems to be predestined that he's going to be on the wrong path and that Yaakov is going to be on the right path. Where is the freedom for him to have Bechira, free choice, to choose what path he wants in life? Rav Hirsch has a remarkable explanation where he actually says when Rivka was told before she gave birth to her sons that she has two goyim, which is usually translated as two nations inside of her, the word goyim does not have to mean two different nations. It can mean two different entities. Yes, Esav had a tendency to be physical, to be involved in the material world, to be a hunter, to be out there, and Yaakov's nature was to be more spiritual and inside. But if Esav's nature was harnessed in the right way, he also could have been a father for the Jewish people. Yaakov and Esav would have split the leadership of the people. Half the tribes under Esav's leadership focused on the physical within a God world, and Yaakov would have been focused on the spiritual. But Rav Hirsch actually places blame on Esav's parents, on Yitzhak and Rivka. They didn't realize that they had to take those tendencies of Esav and harness them and bring them in to a spiritual world. They raised both children the same. And as a result, they got older and they were on two different paths. And Esav was veering away from God while Yaakov was spiritual. And Yaakov eventually had to become the father of both realms, both the spiritual and the physical. And now we did have two different nations. But the possibility of Esav being on the right path was there, had his character traits been harnessed and brought into the spiritual. This is an incredible lesson for all of us. First of all, as parents, to see the traits that our children have, accept them for who they are, and try to channel those traits towards Avod Hashem, towards the spiritual, towards a life on the right path. But it's also a message how we see other people around us. When we see people who have traits that might be off, don't write them off. Don't say they have no chance. Always try to influence them to bring them to the right path. And finally, a message for all of us. We're all made of many different character traits. And to say to ourselves, I'll look at myself, I'll understand who I am, and try to take every part of my personality and channel everything that I am towards Avodah Hashem. God gave us those traits. That means that we can use them, and all of them can be used towards the positive. Shabbat Shalom.